Here I want to showcase to you a pretty amazing feature within Power BI Online Service called the called Natural Language Query or the Q&A feature. Okay, and so what um, what you can do within Q&A or Natural Language is I'll call it Q&A because that's what I pro uh, probably prefer. Um, is you can basically query your reports um, and get answers. So write like a Google-like query on your report and get answers for it. Now. Within the online service, there is this. There is actually this feature has been embedded into the Power BI desktop um, product as well. But I want to showcase it to you here because I like how you know um, it sort of break brings down the barriers to entry for users who might not be really you no know, tech uh, you know tech savvy or or analytically savvy. They can, if you set up your models well, access insights quite easily. Okay. So within the dashboard area, you have this ask a question about your data. And what you can do is you can basically find insights that, you know, probably that like might not even exist in your Power BI sort of desktop report. They might not have existed what you created here, but they would exist in your model based on the measures you've created and the model you've built, right? So for example, what we could do is we could say, okay, um, and, and I just want to add, you know, it is so important to build your model well. Like all of the things that we have talked about, best practices, etc., you need to be working on, um, so you can make that uh, this, you know, you can make this work effectively. What I'll do here is I'll actually turn, I'll turn this new Q and A experience on here. Um, you know, it might. This, this is always this is updated like a lot, right? So, um, so there, this may look different. To what you're you're looking at, but you know currently this is this is in, this is what it's like, and you know, see here it, it sort of gives you some suggestions. I mean, you can click on the suggestions and see what they say. Um, let's just click on this one. I don't know if it's going to show anything, so it's not actually showing me anything that effective, honestly, because you don't know what the context is of the um, of the the question, right? So what I might do is I'm going to show total profits because. I know that I have a total profits measure in my report, right? So it's saying show total profits um, by product name, okay? Because I know I've got, so see, I'm just typing it in and it's coming up automatically. And what it's doing is it's basically retrieving this information based on the measure that I'm inputting and the column name that I'm inputting here. So that's why those, those naming conventions I've talked a lot about are, are so, so crucial. And then I could go even further and say in year 2019, right? And so you'll see that you know this is I think it has drilled down. We can we can we can even go by year and see where that comes up with. See, it even gives us a breakdown by year um, as stacked bar chart, right? So I can even change the look of the chart as well. Okay, so it's pretty amazing if you think about it. What can be achieved here okay and you can you you would be surprised at how advanced it is okay you can really find almost any insight and um you know and and, and find it by writing writing in some query here okay and so all i would suggest i don't want to do too too many more demos because you know have a play around your data might be different right and if you've built your model well you know this q a is really intuitive it can be really intuitive and you can literally find insights on the fly so think about being in a meeting and you've built your report and you've built your dashboard and maybe you've built your app um, but say you just don't have that information um, that you you can't find that information by any means like you're know, drilling down to the information you want to visualize it in a slightly different way well you don't have to run back to your computer and get your power bi desktop up you can maybe find it with q a so it's pretty spectacular and then you can also pin the visual to your dashboard too. So I might, you know, if this is a, an interesting insight that, that is worth going on the dashboard, I'm just going to go pin. The, you know, the one thing I don't like that much is that the colors, the colors don't, the, the, the you know, this is, this is, you know, it's, 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 it's really sort of my, um, creative instincts coming out here but the colors you know they they don't the color theme doesn't match so that's one thing to just to, just to have a think about but um you know in terms of you know what you can do with the the functionality it's pretty pretty spectacular okay so i'm gonna round off there hopefully i've got you excited about the q a um you know it's 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 
got so much better over the last few years and will continue to and and i'm just waiting for the moment where they start embedding this sort of ask a question of your data box you know into everywhere around power you know the microsoft office universe where you know you might one day see it in microsoft um, outlook you might see it in microsoft teams like imagine how powerful that will be and so i really think that that's on the horizon and um, certainly can't wait okay let's move on